quilted by or pieced together by Elsie Gandy, who was our youth director for, I don't know, 10 or 12 years at Eastside Christian Church when Marion and Peggy and I were growing up. Yeah. And when Elsie died, they gave this one to Mom because she had known Elsie and knew Elsie at the time it was being created. Marion is going to take it home and use it on her desk bed. Um, so this one is going to her. Okay. The third one you all need to see <coughs> because this is really there's a story that goes with it. Mother was in a car accident and broke her leg when she and Daddy were dating. And Daddy went and designed the star on this selected the colors and the fabric for it, took it to mom, and while she laid in bed, she pieced it together and then had an aunt quilt it for her. There was, there's a note on there that mom has written. Let Molly read it. Molly read it, would you? Or Kelly or Taylor. Somebody. Lone Star Quilt Rainbow Style 1929. Uh, this quilt was made from diamond-shaped pattern drawn by Paul McBride, Edith's boyfriend, as she <laughs> lay in bed recuperating from a broken leg as the result of a car accident. I didn't know this. Um, Grandma was skilled, in, or Paul was skilled in mechanical drawing, so every point was perfect. Edith arranged the colors of the rainbow, and Paul selected the fabric from the downtown dry goods store. Edith cut the the pieces and spelled very wrong, sewed them together. It spelled seaweed, um, <laughs> them together. It was quilted by an aunt. Do we know who? I have no idea. Aunt Janie. Maybe Mamie. <laughs> I figure it was Mamie. Yeah, Aunt Mamie. Some five years later, Edith's mother visited and decided to air, A-I-R in capital letters, the quilt. Um... A bird. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a bird flying from a nearby. A bird. Okay, it's from a, a bird tree. flying from a nearby mulberry tree caused the stain, which Grandma tried to wash out. Property of Edith McBride. Now there's another note. Now the note is Helen's writing that I can't read. Taylor can read it. Let me read it. Virginia Harmon. Okay. <laughs> uh, Vir Virginia Harmon got the mulberry stain out with products pro not, not available earlier. Upon her death in October 2007, Helen Lauderdale took the quilt and attempted to get out the water stain left from God. above. Poor quilt. This was accomplished, but when... I rewashed the quilt. The fabric is beginning to come apart. Helen Lauderdale. Yeah, we're talking about 1920. That's 100 years. Jeez. 1929. 1929. Almost 100. Holy hell. Where's the mulberry stain? It's gone. It's gone. gone. Well, where's the... But they said... But they said, where's the water stain? The stain out, but then she left water. water it's over there. And so Helen got the watermarks out. So Isn't that funny? But the, the quilt, quilt is just so old. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? No, it's 100 years. It's 90 years old. I'm, I'm, just, I'm hoping I don't live that long. <laughs> I'm just astonished at how well, well the color is. You see this? I'm not speaking for anybody else. Okay. <laughs> so. Another 10 years. So good. The going to get bed and cover up. No, I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting on the bed. But I. Um, okay, so our dilemma is what to do with the quilts, right? I love this idea. That is fantastic. I want I want them to stay in the family. I don't want to give them away. That's my vote. So, so 
Larry is taking the pan one. Love that. Which is fine. Yes. And then she didn't want the other one. I said, well, I'll take it. Right. But anyway, but it was the the one of the quilt. It's one the, the this one. That's the one that. The but third. if Peggy wants it, that's well, fine. let me tell you, I've never had a quilt. When my grandma died, mother went to Springfield, and grandma had quilts, and she gave every one of the girls quilts. Except me, she didn't get me a quilt. She didn't get me a quilt. Next. And of course, Helen, very practically, uh -huh. put them on her children's beds and they wore them out. Way to go, Jay. <laughs> we're going to blame Jay and Landy for that. They, they were peeing on, on that Yeah, they were. They were peeing on that hat. hat. <laughs> <laughs> so all of Grandma's quilts that, yeah, that's were gone. <laughs> I have received a quilt from Grandma, so got one of the grandma I, I've quilts. gotten a Grandma quilt. Mm -hmm. I, I burned it up reading yeah, under know. the quilt with the light <laughs> when I wasn't supposed to be reading as a kid. So I destroyed the one now, Grandma gave me. But if I, I take it, it will be passed on to Taylor. But it, 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 I, <laughs> I would love to have it, but that's fine. This I'm one, not, you want this one? No. No, you want this the, one? The, 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 the star one. one. Unless someone else really wants this one. Want the star? That's the one she's talking about. Landon, you all should have seen this. No. Lindy, did you want the star, honey? I, I want them to stay in the family. I do too. I okay. don't have one as well. Anything you want? Yeah. Yeah. You I should you have first one, right. But I could well, have I take, <laughs> Mary's taking one. You should take one. I'm always a star. Uh, I would agree with that. Okay. I don't have a problem. I think Taylor will respect it. She knows the story. I'm putting it on social media. She'll have it forever. So I I don't have a problem with you taking that either. Kelly, what's your vote? Jay, Leslie, Jackie. We have, we have a quilt. Yeah. Actually, that I don't recall if I got from you or from Grandma Edith. Yeah. I, you may have my wedding ring. No, no, it's not a wedding ring. It's not a wedding ring. It's, a wedding ring. it's um, my grandmother. It's that, that fabric in it, a lot of it. Well, <laughs> my grandmother quilted me for my wedding a wedding ring quilt. Somewhere through the ages, it may have totally been used up. I don't know what happened. I just want to make sure this one that if I get it, it Taylor will the feature in the family colors. and not okay. misuse it. Right. That's why we'll have Taylor involved in this right now. I'm here by choice. Voluntarily, would you take care of it forever and keep the papers to tell the story? Yes, of course. I do recognize the pattern. Yeah. My dad. The aunt made this one. No. The aunt made this one. There are two stages to quilting. First, you piece all the pieces together. And then you actually quilt it. Well, we, we so didn't. mother pieced it together for well, daddy's drawings. Yeah. Okay, and here, then the quilt, here, the so, other yes. people quilted it. See, there, there see this here? Of hers quilted. We were not allowed Taylor, to speak. This is, this is the actual fabric. This, when you piece it together, you're dealing with this fabric like this. All right. And that is the quilt topper. What they have inside it is usually batting or something that you then put on a backing. And then to attach the top to the back, you do these stitches, and that it's the it's the process of doing these stitches that is known as quilting. And then when you get it all quilted, then you bind it, and this is the binding. So the binding is typically a single color that is folded over and stitched around the edge. The binding is not quilted. This is quilted because of the, and there's different patterns in quilting, like they went. I'm telling you, there are tiny, tiny little stitches. Yeah, and, and they've got different, like, right, and there's a sun, there's a flower up in here. Yeah, I see a flower right. here too. And then these are all done with double diamond. Yeah. Okay. This is an extraordinary quilt. I mean, yes, it's it is. it's beautifully, beautifully yeah. done. But because of how fragile it is, you can actually see how it was made. How did they stay this vibrant? 
I mean, has it ever even been washed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's We know it has been cleaned and well, washed and aired. That's, yeah, that's true. That's true. We know. And, and, and pooped on. And pooped on, yeah. It hasn't been washed. It's been washed. Washed. That's right. That's right. Okay, so... I think it's a flannel. I think it is the flannel that's been washed this one? often enough. I think the Essie quilt has been, the backing was, and see in this case, they took the backing and turned it into a self-edging. Ball game to help people jump up. Pretty much all of us sit on this, the grass looks dirty. Fabric miter may not hold However, if your only child is in a burning building, you can use the You can the use the fire. Yeah. Well, yeah, let the child let live. Let the child <laughs> A couple scars. Like, uh, okay, so we're all okay with, is that okay with, with this. Is that it is okay with me. Everybody agreement? We're, definitely, I love this. <laughs> this idea with, with Aunt Marion. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the question. What to do with all this right, one. So the last one is the sermon on the quilt. And Jay's going to check. With some people on it. Yeah, we'll check. I think let's, let's see what yeah. some of the church people say. Because yeah. I promise you, they'll let you say, yes, we're interested, or no. we got yeah, it. They're not really interested, we're not going to just give it away. Do no. They? I think Macy was a good idea. Not that I just, and I don't know. I thought that, but range. then some of her family members are saying no. So. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Absolutely not. So okay. I'm saying, I'm going to go by the people that know her the best. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. You're saying not, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> and not to say. Aunt Marion, well, what are you I saying don't. about that? Yeah. I want to check with What's the church. What's your reasoning? Do we want to ask Macy? No. Yeah. Honestly, we don't. I, I think okay. if don't get a TCU into. and Brights would do something <laughs> and make a display, <laughs> then I think. Let that be the place to go. Yeah. Yes. I, I totally agree. That would you, be fabulous. I would yeah. also tell you 20 to 30 years down the road, somebody's going to walk by. No different than what we saw at. East yeah, side. yeah. You had all this stuff, and you walk down. Well, nobody knows anything about it. That's exactly right. And the, the, whoever bought East Side will just yeah, and they can pack it up and send it to Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Indianapolis people will say, <laughs> "What are we supposed to do?" Stick it back there in warehouse row seventeen. <laughs> warehouse right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. And then the other question is the quilt that I have. I mean, I just picked it up from there. Is there something we want to do with that quilt? Seven to ten years for that crime. <laughs> <laughs> I think you no, they they it. gave it to me, but I mean they gave it to the family, and I I don't no, know what you all want me to do. It's okay. okay. Jackie's not going to tell you about the two she stole. Yeah, she Jackie, we know she's such a thief, <laughs> and you know so and rotten. I don't mind keeping the sermon on the quilt, but I mean it's not well, uh, it's not something you would set out and put on a bed or anything right. like and that, and it's not something you're going to hang on the wall. I mean, no, you know. Right. It's but a, I don't. And the quilt that I have is not in the condition really. It's it's in okay condition, but not really in the best. It's it's kind of an ugly quilt, and it's very well, faded, and you can't read the, the writing is, on it. It's and not so, really a quilt. It's almost like a coverlet, like a bedspread kind of thing, is what yeah, it is. It's, yeah. Because it's not quilted. It's just uh, pieces. It, it, it is. Tied. Literally, it's just names are sewn into it. You know, so it's not even. But and and it's just sitting in a box in my closet because I don't know what else to do with it. So. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. 